What's going on, guys? It's your boy Fatty, and welcome to a brand new episode of Cooking with Fatty. And today we have a bit of a special one for you guys. So we're gonna hop into this with something that is simple, easy, but delicious. And that is, of course, Fatty's world famous, well, soon to be world famous, Ultima Sandwich. Now, let's go over the ingredients, shall we? Now, of course, we gotta go right to the ingredients. And of course, the first couple things we're gonna need is our cheeses, because cheeses price. We're gonna need ourselves a lot of cheeses in our life. So, without further ado, what do we need? We need mozzarella. And of course, some we're gonna need ourselves some red onion. Next up, we're gonna need a garden salad. Have your roses been growing just right, guys? I don't know. We're just hopping into this. Your next ingredient you're gonna need is pineapple, because no one knows how to make anything taste better and sweeter than a good old-fashioned island pineapple. Up next, all you're gonna need is my second to last. We're gonna, of course, need our bread, garlic bread, and lastly, the main piece of this sandwich, and the one that I'm most excited to cook up during the process. <whistles> that bad boy is thick. Damn, man, that's thick. And that's, of course, steak. That's right, the Ultima Sandwich by Airsoft Fatty is a beautiful steak sandwich. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. Shh. That last thing was a little bit of a lie. We have potatoes. Now, I bet you're thinking to yourself, well, what are we gonna need for the Ultima Sandwich? Well, to start with, we are gonna need ourselves an old freaking pan because we need to cook that steak and it's got to be done right now up next you're gonna need your trusty dusty I forgot there was water in this um I just I really just dumped a fucking pot of water on my head. Really, Lou? That's just nasty. Well, as you guys can see, we kind of need ourselves a pot or pan here so we can make the potatoes. Um, water does not need to, well, it does need to be included, but not for your head. The water goes in the pot, like this. And the next major utensil you're gonna need, besides a fork, knife, and spoon, it's a baking sheet. We're getting to bake today. First off, to help the prep work with getting the baking going, we're just gonna add a little non-stick to it. Like that. And then of course we're gonna do the same thing with our pan for the steak. All right, let's hop on to the next step, shall we? I don't know about you guys, but you know how Fatty likes it. He likes it hot, hot, hot. You know, we don't rock it at the stop top. Oh wait, we don't need to go that fucking high. <laughs> we don't need to go that high. We just need to go right there. 450, get that bad boy preheated. Next step is gonna be simple enough. We're gonna take ourselves a loaf of this garlic bread. Um. Mr. D, my old high school geometry teacher taught me something I could absolutely use, even if only for one application. 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the pan real quick. And then you're gonna drop this big old piece of meat. God damn, listen to that. That cow was thick when he was alive. Thick, like a cool like something. And then we're just gonna toss it. Out. Look at that. And the last thing we need to prep and get cooking, at least right away, is going to be the potatoes. All we gotta do is get some water going. And you're gonna do half part water to half part milk. Just the right amount of creaminess for the potatoes. We're looking for a semi-creamy potato that's somewhat clumpy, but not, not disgustingly clumped. You'll see. Sounds gross now. <laughs> Just wait 15 minutes. We still have about 100 degrees until the oven's at the perfect temperature and we'll be throwing our uh, garlic bread. Uh, why don't we take a moment to talk about some stuff that's been happening in the background if you let things cook. So like I said, let's talk about a few things that have been happening in the background as things are cooking. To start with, if you're wondering what happened to the Twitch, we caught another permaban and this time I fear it is not going to just be randomly appealed and reinstated in three months. I don't think it's going to happen again. I still have yet to hear a single word from Twitch on the first time I got banned. And I'm probably never going to get the attention that's going to be needed to possibly reinstate it. Of course, my buddies, there's a lot I can do. Uh, just keep an eye on the Instagram and the community page, post, area, whatever they call it here on YouTube. I just call it the community tab. Um, keep an eye there. Next video we're going to be releasing, I'm hoping, is going to either be the first episode of the new Star Wars series or it's going to be uh, the Ball Pit Part 2. I'm really trying to push that Ball Pit Part 2. We've been meaning to do it for a while. Just things are a little crazy. Um, the song is going to need another week or two uh, to be done. And I'm glad we're taking the time to do it right. So there is a delay with my first song. But hope you guys love the concept we do have planned. And uh, I know I keep seeing the tension diverted to the food, but like we are cooking and I had to reshoot the scene as we're cooking, like I think twice now. So like. Everything's pretty much ready to fucking go. I just gotta toss the bread in for 10 minutes and we're ready to do this. So I'll see you guys when the bread's done. Everything's done, you know, cooked up. To start with, our steak's looking pretty dang mighty fine, if you ask me. Let's take a look at it. some jiggle. That's how you know she's nice and tender. So now what we're going to do at this point, we're going to throw a pineapple piece in there, smoke with the flavor. Smoke this right into the steak. All right, here we are. Let's work on these potatoes here. So I'm gonna turn the heat back on low because I turned it off for a second because it did finish up boiling. You're gonna take your bag of mashed potatoes. You're gonna take your spoon. You're gonna do this. You're gonna pour and whisk, boys. It's like the penguins smiling away, but you're just pouring and whisking. Which for a lot of us just means pulling out our wallets and. Well, leaving it in the air. Uh, oh. And of course, once that's all ready and warming up, which I'm gonna do, slice of party, slice of mozzarella. Now what you're gonna do Tear these bad boys up and throw it in like this. Like that. See? Well, you 
can only do a better job. I'm gonna go ahead and... All right, now let's check up on the steak. Oh my, looks great. Let's flip it. Looks amazing. And now we go back to potato. Space Force to be pretty mad. So we are at a point where killing the heat on the snake is perfectly a-okay. Not like the studio though, just okay. Now at this point in time, the only thing we are waiting on is the garlic bread. That's a fat boy trying to get you a cinematic scrolling shot of the bread. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. All right. Oh, that's a problem. All right. Let's just go ahead and. Ah! We're using the classic ghetto towel. It works. Sometimes using a towel makes the food taste that much better. I think it's almost ready. We're ready for this. We can put the ingredients on, put it back in to melt the cheese, and boom. Let's do this. One last thing, ladies and gentlemen, before we finish off this video, if you could please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 500K. We are sitting at 480K, baby. We're only 20K away. So without further ado, let's hype off. Hype off? No, let's end off. It's amazing food, cooking, and review. Here is the beginning of the end, where we begin the final part of cooking the stuff. So to start with, we're going to take and slice up our steak. Now that it's done cooked, smoke with the pineapple and the onion. She's ready for a plate. Now, we're going to go ahead and cut this up. I take a pork. And then we're just going to strip it up. We're going to strip it like we got daddy issues. And that's just how it's going to be. Now it's all stripped. Let's go. Oh, great. Are you okay, Grace? One second. So here we go. This right here is the next part. We have stripped the steak. Now we're gonna take our bread and we're gonna break it. Well, and I just have to break it. Now what we're gonna do, sorry, fix the camera again. But we're gonna go ahead now that we have this made. We're gonna slip. Big old bit of meat there, right? I'm not done. Take one piece of mozzarella, split it in two. All right? Throw it on, just like so. Now you pull out some lombardi. And what do you do? You do the same kind of thing. Split it in two, and put it on. Now, I'm going to take some potato. Actually, no, we're not taking potato just yet. Sorry. Now you're going to take your garden salad, right? I'm going to take this. All right. This is garden salad, all right? I'm going to take this. We're just going to... Uh, uh, come on. I am Hercules. 
open for I wait for soul. Oh, Jim's me his knife. Now, here's my pull out this pinch. Yeah. Put on. Now you're gonna take the seal sack that was some onion. Look like that. And now we do the potato. To which we pull. We Pineapple, you rip a ring in half. Guess what? Let's talk about comedic timing. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other. And now that they're done, we're gonna put them back in the oven. Hey Grace, sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Now some of you guys know the house now has a kitten. Well, we can't leave the kitten out of the celebration, so. <sighs> it's not the old house, it just lost its magic to open a can. Not completely. There's a reason we open these cans now. Now we just gotta mash that bad boy up. And then we're gonna grab steak. Put it in there for. Then I'm gonna give her a teeny bit of pineapple. Go! A nice happy dinner for the baby. Here comes the enemy. Sing praise to the enemies. Oh no! No, 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 one toppled over. No, no, no. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! One toppled over. Well, however, we have one of these sandwiches. Bam! You have one that works this. Ouch! Hot. And there we are. The Ultima Sandwich. And his failed brother. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We are at the testing phase of the sandwich. This right here is the Airsoft Fatty Ultima Sandwich. Fatty of the future, hit him with a slow mo bite. Sort of fine. My bad, we had some random people kind of walking through our yard and the dogs are barking. Good guys, you're doing good. That being said, um, yeah. So I want to touch base on a few things real quick before ending. I did catch a permanent ban on Twitch again. Um, and at this point, I'm just going to look for someone else to stream because I can't deal with another three to five month hiatus of not hearing a damn word from Twitch and then just silently being reinstated. They silently reinstate me again. Cool. You might see me live back there, but I don't know if I'll be going back if they do. Another thing I want to tell you guys is, like I said earlier, 
Uh, next couple of videos that are planned are going to be, uh, we're hoping for the next video to be either Ball Pit or um, the first episode of the new Star Wars series. I've got episode two of My Shattered Mind Mates in the works. And we also have the Ball Pit part two in the works. And that is stated, my song that I'm working on is going to need about another week or two. But we are working on that and getting that out to you ASAP. That being said, the fatty ultimate sandwich. Yeah. I hope you guys are all staying safe and having a good one. And, well, we'll see you guys back again one day on the streams. Till then, we're going to keep putting out banger content. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys have been really asking for a cooking video. I wanted to give you something. And, well, I feel like this might actually be pretty good. Y'all enjoy yourselves and have a good one. I'm just going to take me another bite because that meat. I mean, goodness. Get in my mouth. Hey.